explain how ARF got started? Here, here's part of the story that's, if you had a movie about this, you'd say, oh, it's, it's Hollywood. It, and we had seen over the years that uh, there's a colony of feral cats underneath the stands at Oakland. Like, there are a lot of places, and they feed on scraps. So we're playing the Yankees one night, and sure enough, out of the, the hole in the right field bullpen where the Yankees are, this calico cat comes running right to, the, right to dead center field. Roberto Kelly was in center field, and the play stops. Comes by the dugout, Yankees, comes all the way around, and there you see, by that time, the, the fence is only like about four feet high. It started to get up, it was just exhausted. So there's a famous picture, you'll see it, the thing where the cat comes in front of our dugout, and I step out, and some of the guys behind me, and I kind of faint with my foot, and it goes into the dugout where there's a bathroom, goes in the bathroom, close the door. Sounds like a made-up story, play the tape. Game was over, Oakland Animal Control comes, take the cat. I go upstairs, the phone rings, Elaine, what'd you do with the cat? I say, I did the right thing, you know, protected it, turned it over, Oakland Animal Control. She says, you know, Oakland, you know, they're, they're really stretched, they're gonna kill that cat. Now I feel like crap again. First thing in the morning, I call the place and said, don't kill him, we'll come by. So all morning and, and through the afternoon, She's touring the places that we donate to, and they're all jammed. So we decided that we were going to start a small nonprofit. Interesting, because of the three World Series years, we had just decided that our life was kind of crazy. We were going to simplify our life. We decided to do it, and I asked Elaine, I says, you know, this is not going to simplify our life. I had no <laughs> clue. She says, we got to do it. I said, okay. She says, I've been thinking we should come up with a catchy name. I said, what do you got? She says, well, how about Animal Rescue Foundation, ARF? I said, that's cute. You know, you try to top her. How about Bay Area Rescue Foundation? She says, think about that for a minute. Barf. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got it. And uh, February of 91, we started it. We've had a tremendous advantage over everybody else because of the free publicity. And within the first two or three weeks, the phone starts ringing off the hook with issues, and we knew Man, there is a need. How have you seen it evolve over the years? The original mission, which was people rescuing animals. And after about three years, we running into a lot of people that love animals, but they had other causes. And there were articles about how a dog or a cat, bring them in the hospital, help people's blood pressure and so forth. So we came up with the second mission, animals rescuing people. We were able to reach out and not only help all these people, but it glorified the value of a companion animal. Well, now I lose track, is it seven years ago, we thought, you know, there's this one category of people which were veterans, the suicide rates, the PTSD issues. So for pets and vets, uh, our executive director, Elena, came up with, we <clears throat> were saving lives at both ends of the leash. Because we get a dog that's and the veteran likes that. We match him, up with a, match him up with a veteran. The veteran goes through the training. The difference about our program, we pay all the costs. How much has the Pets and Vets program really propelled the foundation to even greater heights? We knew if we wanted to, to spread the message, you know, have be more impactful <clears throat> beyond Northern California, we had to come up with something that had more of a na national or orientation. Pets and Vets, will be the vehicle to really, <clears throat> I think, uh, dramatically impact both ends of the leash. And the number of veterans, the testimonials are, have, have, have totally inspired us early on to keep going and do more and more. And that, that, see, that's seriously motivating when you think about you know, the scale of 20 of these things in the next five or 10 years, then 50 of them, you're talking about you know, a number of veterans are going to be serviced around the country. It's, it's a very simple process. So between our staff, our sponsors, our board, our volunteers, ARF has been, it's a terrific story. The group called Charity Navigator that evaluates... Important every, organization. Evaluates every nonprofit. They give you stars for your performance. Top is four. We just earned our 12th consecutive year of four stars. And the president writes is less than 1% of charities in their history have qualified 
for 12 consecutive years. It, it equals a lot of momentum for organization. We meet with people, they believe in us. Their belief forces us to commit to maintaining we're not gonna let anybody down. Explain the no-kill movement and how the euthanization rates have dramatically dropped from, I think, 1970, 23 million animals were euthanized a year. The original shelters are public shelters. There's no bad people there. <clears throat> They're just overwhelmed. You know, you have animals coming in every day, and you bring them in, and you hope the owners show up. When they don't show up, you got to kill them. So the answer has always been a compliment to that is the nonprofit that takes animals in and tries to get them adopted. Some of the nonprofits, if they're not successful, you know, they will euthanize. With this movement that's gone across the country and the success of the nonprofits, alleviating the public efforts, you see that the numbers drop. One of the pioneers, and I'm glad to say this, uh, is a Dave Duffield, who was the original PeopleSoft guy, who was Workday. He and his wife, Cheryl, they formed the, the Duffield Foundation. They put like $270 million into a foundation that they sent out across the country to help. They want to go no kill. And we were one of the first organizations they supported. They still support us. And uh, in the end, that's the goal. Every dog and cat, puppy, kitten, that is born should find a home where you don't, you don't kill any of them. And the numbers are in our favor.